Welcome back to another episode of Life is Feudal Forest Village. We are playing modded Forest Village, so if you want to see the mods that I'm using, I'll put them in the description below, but let's get into the game. So last time we were playing, we finished the bee apiary and um, the forester's lodge and the well. We're working on getting some hay because we need it for this builder's yard, and we want to build that so we can get rid of this warehouse. I think we're going to put an orchard over here so that we can start getting more more fruit and we're doing decent on food now so that's good we also have a good amount of tools oh we don't have any more metal so let's take the blacksmith out and put the person back into the furnace so we can get some more metal and then let's go ahead and build this builder's lodge this is like the a bigger version of the warehouse it's one of the mods that i have so um, it allows us to have more of the building goods in this spot it's a little bit bigger than the normal warehouse but you can store a lot more there so it'll be helpful oh we don't have any wood darn it just go over here and get some wood and we'll come down this way too i don't want to mess with it. we do have a gatherer right here that we're just using until we get this area ready and we have a hunter here as well but we're not doing it right now we're gonna wait although we can start using it now that it's getting a little bit cooler building is almost full oh my goodness that was quick okay so we have all of the clay in there so we do have enough to start the castle barn soon too but that is going to take a lot of wood that we don't have so i'm not sure how we're gonna do it that's the only thing we we're missing for the builder's yard and then we're gonna need a lot more for the castle barn so let's see maybe i'll go a little farther it is still not super cold so maybe they can get some from a little farther away while it's warmer and then we'll do it closer to us once the um winter comes around um okay so i'm gonna put somebody in here and i'm gonna make it so they're not cutting trees down right now i just want them to plant trees for a bit and then we'll let them cut stuff down but that way we can get this really um tree heavy so once we build this gatherer and hunting cabin we actually have animals and plants that they can gather wow we're doing really good on firewood i still only have one person in there too but i guess it's a sawmill so that's part of it if they're it's a little bit more productive a little bit faster more efficient i don't have any honey in here i'm gonna take this person out for now we'll put somebody in there later we have a little bit of honey but we started it kind of late in this season so that's part of it i'll put another person into the fish uh how is it doing I'm doing okay it's it has a little bit in the deep end but not a whole lot so that's part of it and as we continue to pull from this we're gonna have less fish in here maybe next year i will have somebody work in the hunting cabin instead and i will take somebody out of the fish we'll see what happens um Okay, I don't need anybody in the gatherer anymore. We'll put them into the hunting cabin and we still have three people to work. So that's good. Um, okay, I'm gonna put somebody back into building or unpause the builder's yard so that they will start building this again. The only thing we still need is the wood and we have a lot of wood now. And then we may be able to do the castle barn too. I should probably gather more wood just in case. I'm gonna continue to do like right next to the village here. Wow, there's a lot of wood right here. I really don't want a whole bunch Bunch of animals in here and that's kind of what we have so maybe i need to put another i put a watchtower over here i haven't built it yet but eventually it'll help a little bit if stuff is kind of coming through here but maybe i need one over here or something oh this is where the castle barn's gonna go isn't it i mean i could potentially put one like in here i don't know or like maybe right here so it stops anything that tries to come through this path maybe we'll see okay they're working on building the builder's yard we still have 442 for wood so i could probably start this although we don't have enough stone so let's have some people come over and just gather some of the stone should probably also get some ore and i think we got as much hay as we have over there so um but next year in this in the spring we're gonna plant grass in here instead of potatoes because we are getting a lot of potatoes right now from the gatherer so i think we can live without growing potatoes in this and we'll we'll get some more grass and then we'll actually have some in here the lack of resources is really what's slowing us down right now okay builder's yard is complete i am going to demolish this warehouse at this point 
This is getting pretty full. I'm gonna need to get that castle barn sooner rather than later. Do we have enough resources? We still don't have all the stone, but we have everything else. Although we are making tools right now, cast iron. So we're using the iron for that. But right now we have enough. Man, we have so much meat. Oh, this is exciting. I hope it lasts. Oh, you know what we should do soon probably is figure out where we're gonna put a weaver's workshop and then a farm with flax so we can at least get some clothing. It's not gonna be warm yet because we don't have wool but if we can get clothing they can travel a little bit farther nobody has um died of hypothermia but i really don't want to risk it so the sooner we can get clothing the less likely it'll be for them to die of hypothermia okay they're getting the stone right now so we should be able to start the castle barn i'm going to put those people in there they can move all the resources there and start building that then i can delete this and we'll have that spot available maybe for some more this is such a weird line i thought it was going to be flat around like there's a circle around the village but i can kind of see where the circle is here but it doesn't seem to be completely flat over on this side it's very odd anyway let's flatten this out just a tad if it'll let me just like level with where the houses are and stuff okay shouldn't take too long though okay that's done they are finishing up building the castle barn which is good and then we can get the maybe the gatherer and the hunting cabin over here started this person is planting trees in this circle they're doing a pretty good job it's going to be hard for them to get up here so eventually i do need to finish this and start making a ramp so it's easier for them to get around but at this point we're kind of stuck we don't have a lot of people to work with yet oh man everybody's an adult i'm going to start planning a little bit more let's put another watchtower here just to catch any animals that try to come into our town on the side here i'm gonna pause that still and then i'm gonna put a house here if it'll fit i'm gonna face the road it's a little bit off but and i guess i could put it here that'll be fine i'm gonna pause that though we're gonna do that soon i'm gonna actually just put an orchard here i'm gonna leave this up for now we'll do it later we do have space in the castle barn so they can put stuff there let's get an orchard started i feel like this is a very thin road maybe because i terraformed it messed it up actually let me fix that really quick just so i make sure i know where it's at okay then we'll put the orchard right in here oh i forgot the orchard because of the trees it's not always a simple maybe i'll do one more down We'll do that and i'm gonna pause that we're gonna wait a little bit to build it um, but i'm just planning out where it's gonna go oh it's spring okay let's put somebody into the farm let's put somebody into the bees let's take out one of the hunters and two of the fish far fishermen might be it for now let's work on terraforming some more I think I might let this person cut down some trees again. I'm gonna just put it down to one. I'm just gonna have one person working in there. And as soon as they're done with this, I'm gonna do this little corner here. And then I'm gonna try to level this out this way a little bit. Just try to do a slope so they can still get up there. You know what? I'm gonna pause the terraforming, start the house so that the two builders work in there. And then we'll have the five people terraform. So that way this other house gets built because we have 15 adults. I want to make sure we're continuing to grow the population. Um, um, we are going to end up having some old people eventually and they're going to start dying of old age so we want to keep getting people especially since we have 3,000 vegetables we have 1200 meat we should be okay to feed another five people and hopefully as we get the gatherer's hut and the hunting cabin going over here maybe we'll get even more food so that'll be good Oh, we don't have enough resources. We don't have enough hay. Okay, let's see if we can get hay from... Is there any hay over here? 12. We just need 18 to finish this project. There, that'll be good enough. And then they can finish that small house. And then we're going to be getting some hay from here. 280, um, so that'll be helpful as well. Okay, we have 90 metal. Let's take this person out. We'll put them into the blacksmith shop. We do have enough ore. I wonder why that said it wasn't... Oh, because of charcoal. Is this almost done? Okay, they finished this terraforming. So let's um, get this corner done, and then I can start worrying about doing a slope for the rest of it. Oh, yeah. Clicked slope when I meant to click the flatten the other part. Okay, perfect. 
That won't take too long, hopefully. Okay, that small house is done. The clay digger, the forester, and some laborers are living there. So we will have space in here for some more people. Wow, they got pregnant pretty quickly, which isn't a problem. It's just interesting. Okay, I'm going to build the orchard. We're not going to probably, we might be able to plant the trees this year. And then next year, we'll actually get some fruit from it, maybe. We're doing okay on honey. Not a whole lot of it. And we're eating it really quickly, but we're doing okay. Oh, I didn't put anybody the gatherer oh my goodness i cannot believe that i'm gonna put two people in just to try to get some more stuff i'm like oh we don't need anybody uh growing potatoes we have somebody gathering no we don't i cannot believe that. i forgot that oh my goodness okay i'm gonna turn them off of cutting down trees because i feel like they're already doing a lot okay that's done let's flatten this stuff out a little bit okay let's do that and then we're gonna just kind of goodness i can't will that work oh i think i messed it up Oh, maybe it didn't do it. It didn't like it. So flatten to a slope. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna do as big as I can. Let go. And then we're gonna flat into a slope like that. So that should work, hopefully. Oh, and that's done. Let's put apples in there and we'll have somebody go in there. I really only need one person at least until harvest comes around. So I'm just gonna have them plant some trees. Um, we are starting to get some fruit and vegetables again, which is good. We got a decent amount of meat. This is probably the most meat I've seen in a long time because in our last season, we had a really hard time getting meat. We were doing eh, okay on fish, but meat was just bad. Um, so hopefully this continues. It's really nice to actually get some meat. Oh, they're planting another round of grass, which is really good. Maybe we'll actually get two. It says normal growing, but it's a, it's summer. It's not even late summer. We're already planting more and it's growing, so I think we'll be good. Man, there's a lot of resources up here. It's going to take a while, but it'll be worth it. So after we get these things built and stuff and as we start expanding my goal is to maybe put another of the three so another hunting cabin another gatherer and another forester up here just like where the edge of the circles are so we can get more and we'll just have kind of two in a row here and hopefully we'll get a lot more hides and fruits and vegetables and everything from this stuff um, which will help us in the long run is this not producing anymore should i take the person out Okay, it's still producing. I think I'm gonna start this hunting cabin. We have enough resources for it and it'll be able to be used in the winter time. So we will actually be able to gather meat and hides in this area as well. And then are they, they're still working on this. I might also kind of plan out where over this way, I'm gonna flatten some more. I won't do it yet, but I'll just kind of have it ready so that whenever they get done with what they're doing, they can start this. Is that like flat to you? Maybe you need to zoom in up just a tad. Make sure it's good. Okay. And I'll just pause this. It's going to take a long time. Okay. We're getting their second harvest of grass. We're going to have a lot. Okay. So next year, I am going to switch this back to potato just so we have some. Um, we're going to get a decent amount of apples, which is really good. I should probably take this person out. It doesn't tell me the optimal temperature for it. Oh, we just gathered more, so never mind. I'll leave it. Man, this is completely full. It's good that we have this. So we have 4,000 vegetables, 600 fruit, 1,400 meat, 18 people. We should be able to live for a while. And then I'm thinking every time that we build a new house, we're going to want to have another way to make food. Just, you know, add five people, have another farm or fish farm or something just to try to get more food. Okay, we don't need you in here anymore. Probably don't need you either, but we'll leave you for a minute. Um, I'm going to put somebody in the fish. We have no fish right now. And we got a lot of animals around here. And it is 32 degrees. Oh, 30 degrees. Okay, we'll take out the gatherers. We're going to take out the orchard person and the honey person. So they can go into hunting and fishing. And then maybe once this is done, I can put somebody in here. I'm just going to put this up here so I don't forget about it. How is this going? Eh, we're not really very far at all. Maybe I'll put this up too so I can see how it's going. We're getting low on wood. So let's gather wood just like right here. And then maybe a little bit off to the side. 
But I think that is where we're going to end this episode. We got an orchard built. We got another house built. We're working on terraforming some more, getting some more stuff, another hunting cabin going. So we're getting there and we're doing really good on food so far. If you enjoyed the episode, please click that like button. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure to subscribe. And I would love to hear from you. So if you haven't already, please leave me a comment below. I'll see you next time.